when you elect a left-wing government, because once they take office, Alex, they then want to hold on to office, and eventually they become unpopular because high taxes and low government performance, eventually people get bored of that. But the way they can turn the terms of political trade in their favour is to say, right, we'll let in left-wing immigrants, poor immigrants from wherever we can get them, because the first generation of those immigrants will always vote left. And this has been increasingly the pattern now. You see it with Tony Blair, you see it certainly with Obama. In order to get Obama elected, he was elected by people who largely didn't originally come from the United States. They came from somewhere else. And those are the ones that will vote left because the left will promise them handouts, which they say they will take from the rich to give to the poor. And so the left can, can live off this and gain themselves office for longer and longer periods as a result of it. And of course, in the end, what will defeat them is that however hard they try to trash the economy with climate change measures, around the world, everybody is paying no attention, and most countries are getting rapidly a great deal richer. As prosperity increases, so that it eventually will even reach places like Mexico, which are largely very poor at the moment, but they will become more wealthy, the pressure for immigration to still wealthier countries will diminish. And when that happens, the left will be extinguished. So I think we're going through a temporary difficulty where the left will bend the electoral rules to, by letting people in and then giving them the vote, as Tony Blair did in Britain and as Obama is doing on a very large scale in the United States. Obama is the most nakedly partisan political president you've ever had. He doesn't see himself as president of the United States. He sees himself as the chief Reich's commissar. He sees himself as the, uh, effectively, the king. And he does undoubtedly have a deep, I mean, I didn't believe to Sousa two years ago when he put out America 2016 that it really was the fact that Obama truly hated free market and wealth and success because you tend to think once you're the president and once people are in power, they understand that wealth and prosperity is a good thing. I mean, that's an instinct for normal, well-adjusted people. But then you realize, no, they really want to shut off our power plants, open our borders, wreck the whole culture, attack the family. I mean, these people are mentally ill degenerates. Never underestimate the extent to which the left hate the West. They hate the countries that bring them up. They hate the prosperity. They hate the success. They hate the democracy. They hate the liberty. They hate the freedom. They do not want it. They want absolute control. That's why the word totalitarian is so important. It means somebody who wants to control every little aspect of your life down to the last flickering, poisonous, mercury-filled light bulb. And of course, just That's the word for them. They are totalitarians. That's the thing. And this is a very ancient divide in politics, which you and I have talked of before, Alex. It goes right back to early imperial China, where the totalitarians were known as legalists, and the more enlightened libertarians, the likes of you and me, Alex, we, we were called the Confucians. And this divide between legalism and Confucianism, between totalitarianism and libertarianism, between those who would control us and we who would be free, and we who would allow others to be free, that divide is the fundamental divide in politics and always has been and probably always will be. Because it's the control freaks that like to go into government. And a control freak, of course, is a totalitarian. He wants to control everything, the totality of what is within his reach. And this is what Obama is all about. And what is interesting about it is a growing sense that of quasi-moral superiority that they have. They like to say, we have to save the planet from itself because only we understand the need to save the planet from global warming, for instance. Now, this is basically a device to try to cover up that what they're really doing is nakedly partisan. Obama doesn't like the coal industry because the coal industry are and have long been the biggest donors to the Republican Party who are his opponents. It is as simple as that. It has nothing whatsoever to do with the climate. That's why he makes such idiotic statements about it every time he speaks about it. For instance, it was a wonderful moment, I think about 10 days ago in the Senate, well, I think it was Senator Graham, was cross-examining five former heads of the 
Environmental Destruction Agency. And there they all were, sitting... Hold on, I want to hear that story straight ahead with Lord Christopher Monckton. We'll give you his website on the other side. I'm Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. You are now in the crosshairs. The NSA and the FBI are treating you like a criminal and monitoring your every move. Ron Paul said recently, the evidence of the totalitarian nature of this government is on display undeniably every day. What's taking place right now is a coup and the destruction of the Constitution. But a friend and patriot has discovered a loophole. Find out about the NSA loophole before they shut it down at privacylockdown.com. That's privacylockdown.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. Are we going to do what they say can be done? We've got a long way to go. Long way to go. And a short time to get there. I'm eastbound just like old man. Scienceandpublicpolicy.org is his website. We'll put that up on screen for TV viewers. Lord Christopher Monkton is our guest. This is a short segment, long segment coming up. Then we're going to your phone calls. And then on to a professor uh, out in California uh, who is working in the globalist controlled UC Davis. We're going to have Professor Hamamoto on who's saying this border being open is exactly what 
Lord Moncton just said, total social engineering with a permanent political underclass of the system. And we need gridlock in government. It's designed to have separation of powers. If the Republican Party was trying to extinct the Democratic Party, I, I want a third, a fourth, a fifth party. I would be defending the Democratic Party. I've never thrown my weight behind the Republicans until now. That is the Republican Tea Party movement. Because the Republican leadership along with the Democrats is trying to extinct it right now. This is a big deal. The Democrats is what Lord Moncton just started getting at are in a political takeover mode for a political oligarchy to carry out a totalitarian system. And, and they're not making any bones about it. They say, we have the moral authority. We are going to arrest people that disagree with climate change. You don't have a right to promote pro-gun stuff and terrorize people, Hillary said. We want to arrest you. The, the enemy is in Al-Qaeda. It's the Tea Party. I mean, this is outrageous stuff going on. It's for real. And Lord Moncton was speaking to that. And then he also started getting into uh, the climate fraudsters being questioned in Congress. Go ahead, Lord Moncton. Yeah, just to tell you the story about uh, these uh, four or five uh, ex-administrators of the Environmental Destruction Agency. And Senator Graham was questioning them. And he said, hands up, any of you who think that Mr. Obama was right when he said that temperatures are rising faster than ever before. He said it twice recently and not a single hand went up. You see this row of dummies sitting there looking uncomfortable as they had to admit by their not raising their hands that Obama had got it wrong. And in fact, just in, I've just picked it up off the satellite during the break, breaking news. We now have had no global warming. According to the remote sensing systems satellites, which monitor global warming around the world, we haven't had any global warming at all for 17 years and 10 months. And the significance of that figure is that it's over half the entire satellite measurement of global temperatures. That started in 1979. For over half of that period, the last half, there has been no global warming at all. So if anybody ever tells you, oh, but look at all these extreme weather events, we've got a hurricane on the 4th of July, we've got all these things that have never happened before. Of course, they have all happened before. The one thing we know didn't cause them is global warming because there hasn't been any. And it's really as simple as that, Alex. Wow. And we've got a long segment coming up. You're going to get into this ridiculous challenge, another hoax, where they say everyone agrees that climate change is real. Well, of course, climate change is always going on. Doesn't mean you pay the UN a tax to, to stop it. Well, Alex, you're too young to remember, but um, climate change has been going on for 4.5 thousand million years ever since the world began. And the fact that they're now saying, oh, we've discovered it's real and everybody's got to agree with us. Everybody has always agreed that climate change is real. And I wrote to this professor, a fellow called Keating, uh, and I said to him, look, we all accept uh, climate change is real. We all accept also that humans can have some effect on the climate. The question is, did they have a lot of effect or a dangerous effect. That's what the debate's about. But he, he won't frame the question in a way that is fair or sensible. And also, he, he in, insisted on not allowing an independent third party to judge the competition. Because he's God. He said, because he wants to judge it himself. He's not going to give the money to anyone. It doesn't matter what evidence you produce. He's just going to say, you're a skeptic. I don't believe in your evidence. Therefore, I'm not giving you the price. He's done it to several people already. So, of course, it's not a real challenge. It's a bogus challenge. It's one that the left can then report on all their websites, the Daily Cars and the Huffington Puffington. All these places are... <laughs> talking about it, but the fact is that it's just another stunt. You mentioned that word in an earlier segment, uh, and Alex, and you're quite right. What goes on is that the left increasingly governed by stunts because they can't govern on the basis of the facts. And the facts are, certainly on the global warming thing now, that it hasn't been warming for something like nearly 18 years, according to the, the satellites. Probably more like 14 years, according to the terrestrial measurements, which, of course, are badly influenced by uh, urban heat island effects with people turning on their electricity. That heats up the area around cities um, and give you, gives you an artificial... And by the kleptocrats putting the measurements out on black tarmacs to manipulate data. Well, by all this sort of dodges... Stay there. We'll be right back, Lord Moncton. Science and Public Policy.org.
Our sites are InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. We're going to get to the big breaking news coming up. There's some big news. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.